I'd like to spend a few minutes today and talk about a new term that I, I, I learned fairly recently was galloping. And I want to spend a few minutes and talk about how we step and, and why we step the way we do and sort of draw some parallels with, uh, with, with uh, the sort of anti-galloping crowd. And when we step, it's important for us to be rooted. It's important for us to have stability. It's important for us to be able to generate power through our heel. So when we hit, when we step, what we want to try and avoid is this kind of position where we've landed, but our heel is off the ground and then we, we strike with the front foot. Yes, we strike with the front foot. But I don't want to kind of throw my body into the strike and then have to reposition myself and then repeat. Oops. Because we feel that when the heel comes off, the back heel comes off the ground, that we lose our connection with the earth, that we're not rooted. So when we step and when we hit, we try to keep this one rooted to the ground. And we hit at the moment we strike, both our feet are locked on the ground. Both our, our feet are giving us support. Then after we've hit, after we've released all the energy into the opponent, we'll take a recovery step if necessary. The recovery step will give us opportunity to throw the other fist. But the important thing I want to mention, when we play the circle step, when we play the, the straight in step, it doesn't matter which one, we're going to play it in a way that our both, our heels get locked into the ground for when we hit to generate maximum power. I don't want this one to come up. Oh, that's a, a, a leak's power according to our theory, our system. And I also don't want to hit and have no weight on this back leg, uh, on the front leg, sorry. Solid legs, locked in heel, locked in heel. So when we do our stepping, we want the hit to land with the front foot. We want the back heel to be planted. So this is going to give us a little bit of power. Just put a, put a fist for me here. So when we hit, when we step, we can use that back leg for power. To generate some good force from the ground. use our body for power instead of kind of like just giving a shove with our hands. Let's us generate power into the other person's body. A little bit of jing, some connection with the, with the ground, some ground path. And that's how we're going to deliver power from our techniques. There's a punch, our tanda, same way when we step. Good timing, good connection with the ground. Everything starts moving at the same time. Everything ends, ends, everything stops moving at the same time. Power comes from the back heel. And that's all I'd like to say about our stepping for this lesson. Once again, I thank you all for watching. I look forward to seeing you again. Until then, bye for now.